Tony coming in hot. Tony coming in hot. What's up with y'all? Alabama State. I'm back. Damn you. Clock Atlanta. It feel good to be back. A shake your money maker. With the money maker, I wanted to shed some light through all the darkness that we're going through. Um, I'm an alumni at HBCU. You know that halftime culture that we all know happens during homecoming or just during those good Friday night games. So it was just a process of me wanting to come out with a song that was in the moment, but on the celebration side. The bucket alligator. Two Chains already knew what he wanted. A historically black college, you know what I'm saying? Playing that, just giving that real band sound, that soulful sound. Like I was very specific. I was like, man, I want something that sounds like some band shit. And I was like, bet. What I did was I went to YouTube and I found a clip of my favorite band, which is Southern University, playing one of my favorite songs, which is God, Peace of My Love. And I went from there with it. I also added a bass, this hat. I got the clap, that. But I got an 808 that I put in and take out the bass around the time the verse come in. I don't, you know what I'm saying? You don't want to do too much because you do too much, they're going to pay more attention to what the beat doing instead of what's being said on the beat, you feel me? That's why when the verse come in, it got a, more of a hip hop feel to it. You feel me? Even without the sample, it's gonna sound like something. I got the track from Pizzle. I started working on the, the record. Burke alligator, them lames agitator. I'm talking natural beauty, no makeup applicator. And then I give it a tune to do a verse. The rest is history. I don't do cap, I don't do cap, I don't do yap. I've been knowing Wayne since maybe 06, 07. We've been friends for a very long time through thick and thin. He's actually, you know what I mean, the best man at my wedding. I love being in the studio with him. I love just the energy, you know. Pretty much made it smooth, made it come out to be what it be. It's, it's real simple, but it ain't too simple, you feel me? Like, no one has ever actually used or replayed a sample using HBCUs. It was Southern University trombone section just pretty much running it. What made Southern University band so unique, it was like a marching band basically out of a jazz band. So when you heard Southern University band, the sound would hit you in your face. Let go. For halftime, you see the Southern University band perform. Nobody don't go get popcorn. Nobody go to the concession stand. You gonna mm -hmm. stay there and watch that band. Man, Battle of the Bands is everything. That's the groove, that's the swing, that's the vibe. We have these rival teams. Not only is the game competitive, but the halftime show is competitive too. So Battle of the Bands is a real thing. And when it comes to our dance, our auxiliary squad, the dancing dog, you know, they, we do ballet, tap, and dance, and they fuse it uh, with the HBCU culture. The black experience, the energy, I want to show all that. And I think that's what money make it. You know what I'm saying? We black. 